Yeah, it was fun following a baby goat around the stage. I think his name was Barnaby. He was great. He was having a great time. He was more like a dog than a goat. <laughs> Before we started, I think I might have said, is he going to be fast enough? I need to, like, sell it. I'm going to have to sell it somehow that, like, I can't keep up. We did the first take, and that goat just bolted around the room. There was no reality in which I could catch the goat, nor would I want to. It was one of the funnest days of my professional career. Like, how is this my job to chase a baby goat around? And then I got to give him cuddles as well. It's great. Louis and Claudia eventually permit Lestat to return to their family home after, I think, six years of trying to woo them and trying to make up for it, which I'd argue is that's not enough. One thing I do love is Lestat tries to give Louis this book of hours, very intricate book of hours, which uh, fans of the Vampire Chronicles will recognize as potentially a book that appears in Memnock the Devil. actually learned all the chess games that we play in this episode. One was designed by a chess specialist that we had come out and we were sent these little videos and gifts of the game that we could learn in the weeks coming up to it so Bailey and I would be practicing while we're waiting between setups. The other game, the one in which Claudia beats Lestat, is called the Polish Immortal. So it was very fun for us to have learned all of these master chess games. When she beats him, when she figures out how he ticks, she figures out what makes him powerful and she gains the confidence. She has to bruise his ego just a little bit before she makes this huge plan, but she figures it out. In episode six is the IV drip scene where I'm getting my medication. And this is kind of a fun scene for me because as I've complained to my wife many times while watching movies and so forth that I never get to do scenes where I'm sleeping. I feel like that's really the, the easiest thing to do is to play a character who's sleeping. <laughs> and in fact, it turned out it was not as simple as that. It's not as simple as like just close your eyes and go to sleep. I was directed to be moving my eyes under my eyelids and it's a very vulnerable scene for me. <laughs>